Hi guys, this is your main guy Abdul Hakim and like I told you in the last video that we did with regards to ODK build, that ODK build has um, two types, right? You have the offline version and the online version, right? So in this video, it's going to be a very short one. I'm going to show you how to use the offline version of ODK build. Now, if you haven't watched the last video, you, you've missed a lot, right? Uh, I'll put a link in the description above. You can click on that link and watch the last video. It, this is like a continuation of the last video. But I'm going to give you uh, something even uh, a little better. Now, some people will be asking that why do you need, since we already have an online version, right? We already have an online version that we can easily use. We're already using it. We're happy with using it, right? Because I received a lot of very good positive comments from the last video. Thank you if you commented. If you have not commented my last video and you enjoyed it, please put your comments um, in the uh, comment box below, right? And if you have any other... Um, issues that you, you don't, you're not clear about, then you can put your comments so that I do that uh, in the next um, video. Now, why would you need an offline version when you already have an online version and you're already working with it and it's working very well for you? Well, guess what? Not everybody has very good internet connection. Not everybody has internet connection at every point in time that they want to have. Like for we as public health physicians, a lot of times we don't stay in the offices, right? You don't see a public health physician stay in the office. I wonder what he's doing in the office. All right. Most of the times we're on the field, all right, in the forest, in the bush, we're collecting data, right, and we're trying to solve a lot of problems in different communities, right. And one of the ways in which you can solve problems from multiple individuals is by getting adequate information and then analyzing that information to know the best way to solve their problems, right. So a lot of times we're in the field, there is no internet, all right. We just have our computers. In fact, we're even afraid that our computers, the charge might go down in any small time. So we have power banks that we can use to charge our computers, our mobile phones, and the rest. All right, sometimes you need to des design a tool very quickly to collect some data. You might not have access to internet, all right? And then in this era of issues with security that some governments are even, um, telcos are shutting down their networks, then you have to have a means of also designing your tools offline, all right? So that's what this ODK build offline version is going to help you to do. You can design your tools anywhere in the world right as long as you have the software on your computer now i'm going to show you how to put it on your computer because you don't really need to do an installation it's made so easy in such a way that all you need to do is just to um, download it um, unzip it and then put it somewhere on your computer and you can easily use it right it has different versions so if you have mac if you have um, uh, a windows system you can all use this right so if with, with that being said let's get started Alrighty. Um, so now that we're with the computer, um, we're just going to type um, ODK build like we did um, in the last video. All right, and we'll go to. If you remember, we went to. Uh, we went. We clicked on this link in the last video, but now I want you to come somewhere a little lower here and click on form building tools, ODK docs. Now, the good thing about this is that it's going to take you to a website that has a lot of documentation. So uh, this is really good. You can read some of these things to understand some of um, the um, way in which you can build um, very good and, and effective tools. But so, so I'll leave you to read all of this, but I want you to just scroll down a little let me show you exactly where this stuff is. You can actually download the entire document here as a PDF, which will help you in understanding a little more about some of the way in which you can build, some of the different ways in which you can build forms. But here I want to go to ODK Build. I'm trying to take you to where you can download the um, offline version, okay? So all this is still ODK Build. If you scroll down a little, you'll see, yeah, uh, awesome. You see, uh, there is a downloadable version of ODK Build available. So we're going to click on that. So, and when you click on that, it should take you to the release. Awesome, awesome. So you've got the release. This is on GitHub. So you can scroll down, scroll down to where you have the different assets. Okay, so this is exactly what you're looking for, right? So this is for Mac. So for those that have Mac, please download this one. And for your Windows, Please select which one you have. I don't know if there are still some people that are still using 32-bit um, version of uh, Windows, uh, but please, if you're using Windows 10, 
uh, and you, you should have a 64-bit system so you download this so just click on this and download if you're a computer programmer and you want to find out the source code you can pick click on all of this all right so don't worry I'm going to teach um, you guys how to code and I'm going to release a video soon that tells you the importance of coding everybody's supposed to know how to code whether you're a you're a computer programmer, a doctor or whatever, you need to know how to code. All right, so this has finished downloading, that was fast. So we're going to like, um, want to open it. So just look for where you have it. Um, I have it in a folder somewhere on my documents. So you can see it here, ODK build. Now for you to be able to open this, you would need, um, uh, WinRAR or any other tool that can open stuff that is zipped because this is zipped just to prevent um, corruption of the files and to prevent viruses from entering or whatever all right so uh, if you have it if you know where the file is uh, don't worry safe if any antivirus is saying anything it's it's a safe um, file okay so um, we we'll just want to open it so just double click if you have um, anything that can unzip this, right? So you'll see a folder. So what I expect you to do now, please listen carefully. What I expect you to do now is to <clears throat> uh, just uh, uh, pick this file and take it out. Maybe you put it on your desktop, right? So uh, where's the file? Okay, so I have the file here. I'm going to double click on it. What, what we need is actually inside this um, uh, zipped file so you'll uh, double click I'm sorry my system is playing up okay good so um, all you need I clicked them multiple times all right so all you need is to just drag this out what we need is inside here so we need the whole folder so pull out the whole folder and drop it here so this is not an installation at all all we're doing is just having uh, the full down now. all right so you can close up all these other ones i have it on my stop uh, you can close this also good so this is our folder so now what you want to do is to take this folder and keep it somewhere safe so you don't want to keep it on your desktop where you would have so I'll you just keep it maybe in your documents anyway you're not going to mess up with it right so uh, a good place is to put it into in your documents so you can click on your documents and then just drop it anywhere in your documents for me I'm going to drop it here awesome so uh, you can now open it when it's inside your documents and see what you have okay so if you look at all these files it's these are the setup files they're already installed this is what we need odk build the exe file which is the exec executable file so just right click on this file and send it to your desktop so what we're doing is we're just sending a shortcut to the desktop and then we can use it from our desktop so i'm going to send it to a desktop so it says create shortcut and you have it on your desktop so we're going to check it out and see awesome so i have it here on my desktop uh, here you can see it ODK build and that's all that's it's as simple as that this is our ODK build software you click on it give it some time since it's probably not used to the system it's trying to navigate through the security of the system and then it's going to open now whilst it's opening I want um, each and every one of you watching this video to do me a favor if you have watched the uh, first video on ODK build and you saw the ODK build online version, right? So this is like a test. Um, any moment from now, the offline version is going to come up. I want to see who can tell me four differences between the offline version and the online version. They are very, very similar. Whoever can get those four, then is up for a present. It's up for a mention in my next video and it's up for a present. So let's see who can actually get um, the difference between ODK um, build the offline version and the online version okay all right so um, ODK build offline all right so um, like I said 
um, I'm giving you each and every one of you a challenge. Put this in the comment um, section below, please. Show, um, um, tell me at least four differences between this ODK build and the one that is um, online. All right, but you can see clearly that this is an offline version, right? This is an offline version and you can see the whole stuff this is how it is whatever you do on this um, remains on your computer you're not storing anything online and always make sure you do you build a, a a perfect form all right so let me just quickly show you how to use this so you click on file and then you say a new form all right so it brings you up to this page where you have a, a, a form here right and then you can start working so let's just maybe want to add the title and so we say text remember this is a uh, title so we can just call it the title of our com of our questionnaire and I can call this a health questionnaire and then we say it's read only if you remember what we did in the last um, video right and then we can continue um, to build the form just like um, we did before we can add another text and call it intro maybe this is the introduction and the label is the introduction uh, to this uh, you know we can write as much as we want to write here and it's also read only if you remember all right and then maybe we also want to do a third one that talks about the social demographics so I, I say social dem and then here I can call it social demographic characteristics. Social demographic characteristics. Good. And then it's also read only. Then we go to the real form building now, right? And maybe the first um, thing there is maybe uh, let's say age of respondent, right? So that's going to be a numeric variable. And then the data name here is age. All right. The label is age of respondents and then I'm going to say this is age as at last birthday as a hint right and I want this to be in years then I close all right and then this is actually required all right you can come and put up any of the settings here and say maybe the data I want to collect is um, for women of reproductive age say from 18 years to say 45 or even 49 okay you can check this if you want to include 18 and you want to include uh, 49 and that's that for that we can do one more and say choose one maybe we want to put gender so we say gender and then the label here is uh, gender of respondents and then uh, we don't have a hint it is required our first option is male and our second option we're just going to say add option and we say female all right and and that's that so you can continue building continue adding your questions till you've completed your questionnaire so you can see this is ODK offline when you are through with doing all of this ODK build offline click on file and you can save or you can export to XML all right so and if you click on export to XML it will give you an XML version of your form that has been exported and you can save it anywhere for me I can save it on my desktop uh, give it a name or whatever kind of name I want to give it maybe I want to call it uh, health questionnaire like we did in the last time but remember you can see that all of this uh, it's actually saving on your computer it has nothing to do with the internet right and then you save so if you check my desktop you're going to see the xml file here so this is the same file you're going to pick and you're going to put into your mobile phone you can actually send this file via email to any any of your data collectors and all they need to do is to download odk collect on their mobile phone and then put the file inside odk collect and then they can use that to collect data okay all right so that brings us to the end of this video 
Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and please comment. A lot of people don't comment. They just give us a like and they've subscribed and they've gone. But comment because this comment really actually helps the video. YouTube is going to um, use um, some of these interactions to push the um, our channel to the first page so that more and more people in different parts of the world can benefit from the amazing contents that we're um, releasing. So please give us a like, give us a thumbs up, um, comment, give us good comments, comment on the video. If there are any aspects of the video you don't understand, please um, let me know in your comments and then I'll try to address it. And if there are any other questions or there are particular areas that you want me to um, uh, treat or some new areas you want me to make videos on please put that in the comments all right smash the like button all right if you have not subscribed you're still watching my videos and you have not subscribed please make sure you um, um, subscribe in our next video we are going to be talking about um, ODK build also for the last time but this time we're going to be using ODK build to uh, build some advanced forms so some forms that have some um, skips logics and some other things that you can do to improve the data quality of the data you're going to be collecting with the form all right thank you very much for listening as usual it's your host um your main guy abdul hakim signing out and i'll say peace